Imagine you are given a goose that lays golden eggs. Scrap that. A magical guitar. No, an enchanted hummer. And you are told that if you drive that enchanted hummer, you will be more attracted to girls and you will be able to rock it to the moon. Now you can believe and believe and believe in that enchanted hummer and that it will bring you the chicks and the lunar experience. But if it doesn't deliver, then it must not be true. Must not be true. It doesn't matter how much you believe it. If it proves to be false, it is false, right? Right. But what about the flip side? If something can be proven absolutely true to actually accomplish the amazing things it says it will do, then it must be real. Must be real. Whether you believe it or not. I guess so. You guess so? Absolutely. Let's say, for instance, Jesus Christ is the Son of the one true God, the only way to God. I don't believe that. But have you weighed all the evidence? Evidence? Who needs evidence? All I need is to believe in what I believe. But believing doesn't make what you believe true. And if it's not true, what you believe can't be real. Can't be real! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! It's all a part of the evidence! How do you know what's true is really true? That's where the evidence comes in. Christ's offer to turn you into a new person is real, if his claim to be God is true. So let's consider the evidence of eight prophecies proving his claim is true. Do you know what the probability factor is of only eight prophecies being fulfilled in Jesus? No. A one in ten to the seventeenth power. One in ten to the seventeenth power! Huh? That's one in ten to this many times. I don't get it. If you were to take ten to the seventeenth power Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies... How many? That's over a quintillion cookies. And spread them across the state of Texas... Yeehaw! They would cover every inch of the state and form a pile of Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies two feet deep. That's a lot of Thin Mints. A whole lot of Thin Mints. Now take one more Thin Mint and lick all the chocolate off, toss it into that pile and stir the whole thing up. Blindfold yourself, walk the entire state from Amarillo to Laredo, stopping just once to stoop down and pick a single blind Thin Mint cookie. Got it. Take off the blindfold. Aw, oh, nuts. The chances of you picking the chocolateless cookie is the same as the chance that one person could have fulfilled just eight prophecies about Jesus in one lifetime. That's crazy. It's unthinkable. But Jesus Christ did not fulfill eight prophecies in one lifetime. Whoa. He fulfilled over 300. 300, girl! Whoa. And 29 of them in just one day. The prophecies are historically documented. The facts that actually happened to Jesus are historically documented. There's only one thing left to do. I know. For me to weigh the evidence. It's all part of the evidence. Because if it is true that he is the Son of God, what he offers you, a new life in him, is real. Now I know it's real whether I believed it or not. It's all part of the evidence. Oh, yeah.